In this video, I'm going to teach you the best place to start if you're preparing your personal statement for UK medical school applications. Hi, and welcome back to Future Doc. My name's Dr. Ash, and this is the channel where we make your application to medical school bulletproof. At the moment, a lot of people on my elite coaching program where I help them get into medical school are telling me that they're having difficulty with writing, but mainly starting their personal statement. So in this video, I'm going to condense the detailed advice that I give them in the one-on-one -on -one sessions with them to give you an idea of how you should start preparing and where to make your first move when writing your personal statement. So this video is going to be more about the initial steps and how to actually prepare the statement itself. If you want to know how you should structure and the best formula for structuring a really solid personal statement, I would really recommend that you check out a free webinar that I've done called the four key steps to a successful medical school application. I do have a lot of people who come back to me after watching that webinar and say that they thought that they knew all they needed to know about the medical school application process, but off the back of that, they learned a lot of key things that they didn't realize and some extra little tips that they can do to help boost their medical school application. So I would highly recommend that you go away and watch that. If you're already on the Future Doc program, I wouldn't worry too much about this video because all the course material and the stuff that we go through in the sessions will be in a lot more detail and a lot more thorough than this. So what is the main problem that people face when they sit down to finally do their personal statement? Well, the main thing is that they feel very rushed and they get a lot of writer's block when they first sit down to write it. And the whole thing can feel a bit overwhelming. So when people finally sit down to do it, firstly, they've probably delayed it a lot, so they feel very rushed. They feel like it's the one time where they need to sit down and absolutely nail it in that first go. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a method and a process that you can go through to make the whole thing significantly less stressful and you can be a lot more zen as you go through the whole process. So the first thing and a very important step is the way that you actually capture the information. I've actually brought out a video already about information gathering that you can check out here. But essentially what you need to do is find a way to get everything that you've ever done in a document. So that can be a combination of things on your computer, maybe a Word document or something more sophisticated like Notion, and also maybe some notes on your phone. Now the reason that I tell people to have this system in place is because, as we all know, some of our best ideas come to us in the shower, but to expect you to kind of regurgitate all the ideas, all the great things that you've done, all the great lines and reasons for wanting to study medicine in one or two sittings of sitting down to write your personal statement is just quite an realistic really. So with the information capture system, what I say to students is divide it into sections, which I'm going to show you in a minute. The most important thing that I say at this stage is to not filter anything. So many of my students come to me and they say, oh, I did this thing and it's absolutely fantastic piece of experience. But they say like, oh, I did it two years ago, or I only did it with children, not with adults. But it's like the most amazing bit of work experience that you could possibly get at that age. And they completely write it off for some ridiculous criteria or rules that they've imposed on it that no one have ever said that they are valid or a reason to not include it. And I know that there are some unis like Warwick that want to see proof of work experience that has been done in a certain time frame, but generally it's about putting across the, the kind of person that is really passionate about medicine and the insights that you've gained. So it's not like they're having a clock in sheet and they want to see exactly when you did these things, exactly how many hours you spent. It's often more about the reflection and the insights that you gain from these experiences. And the reason that this capture technique is so effective is because it's drawn out over days, maybe even weeks and months. And what happens is you realize things as your brain's churning over, you remember experiences that you had that you completely forgot about that are actually really stand out. You might see things that you've already done or remember little bits about work experience that you'd forgotten about or the things that you can remember but you've seen it in a new light or realized that it's taught you a different lesson that you hadn't thought about or maybe exercised a trait that you hadn't previously thought about. You might be out on a walk and then suddenly just come up with a killer line that would go really nicely in your personal statement or maybe even that very tricky opening or closing sentence. But one of the main things is it just has you in that mindset of your brain ticking over, thinking of all the things that you've done and then you'll have that, oh yeah, I did that really cool thing that I completely forgot about that you can add in. One of the things that I do in my strategy sessions with my students is I like to divide these experiences out into sections. So of course we always have an area for kind of free text and good ideas and good little sentences, but generally I like to break it down into the following. And this also ties in nicely to that webinar that I was telling you about where we talk about the ideal structure for a personal statement and the formula that kind of has proven to work the best over the last years. But when we break it down, we put it into categories such as reasons for why medicine, 
work experience. And remember, work experience is three things, which are shadowing, volunteering, and paid work. And then I have a final section for extracurricular. And under that, I kind of suggest anything from hobbies, achievements, prizes, further reading as well goes into this category. So I'm now gonna tell you three reasons why this is a really fantastic way of preparing your personal statement. The first is, when you come to writing your personal statement, instead of that thing where I said, where you sit down and you feel all this pressure to kind of rush or regurgitate something really quickly and in one or two sessions to kind of bang out a perfect personal statement. And instead of doing that and picking things out of thin air, we're essentially gonna pull from this reservoir of amazing experiences that we've had. And it's gonna be a case of just selecting the best ones that fit nicely into the narrative of our personal statement. The second benefit is it serves as a reservoir for great things for us to talk about about ourselves at interview. So this is the kind of thing, just like when I say keep a diary for your work experience, this is something that in the run up to interviews, you can read, refresh your memory on the same way that you're refreshing yourself in the diary of all the stuff that you saw on your shadowing. It will just bring the stuff to the forefront of your mind so that you can talk about things and have good stuff on the tip of your fingers, or on the tip of your tongue when you get asked questions that you possibly couldn't have prepared for that well. The final benefit of this is that it serves as a really great confidence booster. If you're constantly reading a list and going through all the great things that you've achieved and all the reasons why you'd make a fantastic doctor, this just serves to kind of give you positive affirmation and reinforce all the great things that you've done in your life. And all that does is serve to massively increase your confidence when you're interviewing and during your application. So I would highly recommend that even if you're halfway through your personal statement or if you're just starting it, just start with this reservoir. So get a set of notes on your phone that you can just keep adding to or have something that you can capture on your computer and just marry them up and have a big pool of all the experiences, traits, great things, great ideas of sentences, great reasons for why you want to study medicine. So you've got them all in one place. And when you come to write your personal statement, it's just gonna be a case of selecting your favorite and most suitable ones. So if you'd like more help with your personal statement, you're welcome to apply to our Elite Coaching Program, where in the next couple of weeks, we're going to do a massive personal statement workshop where that will be hugely beneficial to helping people with their personal statement. But other than that, if you want more free stuff, you can check out this video here where I talk about information gathering and this video here where we talk a little bit more about personal statement stuff. So thanks for watching and I'll see you over in one of those videos.